Hello guys, this is Liam here, and this will be another video. Uh, this time it's a bit of a how-to, and this will be how to make a um, ratio point mechanism. Now, the, they come in like a little packet, like uh, this here, and basically what you get in a pack is a few little screws. Well, I'll, I'll open it up and show you. Okay, so basically what you get in a pack, you can discard that now, is the following. So you get a little instruction manual thingy there about how it goes in. Um, which is all which is quite helpful. So I've already I've, I've already made about four of these, so I don't really need the instructions anymore. That's why I thought Confident to make confident enough to make one on one on video. So, what you get in the pack is this little piece of twine. You get this little brass bit that screws in underneath the track. You get a little spring and four little screwing hooks. But um, we don't need those for now, so I'll push them aside. Um, and basically what we're needing to focus on is this thing here so you get a little barrel and I'll quickly just cut the other bits off um, oh. careful it doesn't go airborne so you get this little thingy here which is half of the lever um, bracket type thing I suppose you could call it just wanting to, you can actually probably just bend it, it's pretty soft plastic um, you just wanting to bend it until it's soft and then it just sort of comes off. And there you have it, and just want to smoothen it down a little bit by cutting off the little tabby bits with the, the craft knife, like so. So now that's our little lever. Um, so, oh, and you've also got this little bit here which comes off pretty easy. And this other wee thing here, which we don't need just yet. So I'll put that aside. Discard the extra plastic. Then what you want me to do is take this piece here. Now, you can see there are two parts like that. You want to take this one here because it's got the prongs sticking out. So you want to do that. I'm going to do this so you can see it. Take that. And you're wanting to see on the lever. It's going to focus. Hang on a second. On the lever there. What you'll notice is that there's a little lip on the edge of that We circular bit. You see that? You're wanting to put that side facing downwards because you can see there's a little notch on the edge of there um, and you don't want that to make contact with it unless it's really loose but in this case I think it should be fine so basically it should sit in there like that so you can actually move it then what you're going to do holding this up nice and close Whoop. that was a mistake <laughs> um, and what you're going to do is take this other wee piece here and just slot it in there like that, nice and easy so that now when you move the lever you see how that transfers across so you wanting to do that and then line it up pretty straight um, and then you're wanting to take this, this other piece here and just I'm going to do this so you can see it if I line it up right there should be two little holes on this other one here. Yeah. How to focus. You can see there there's two little holes. Now this is really hard to do on camera. But you basically wanted to line the prongs up with the holes. It's really easy to do in real life if I'm, if I'm honest. Like I've just done it now. Two seconds of having it away from the camera and they're online. Now you don't actually need to do any gluing up into, um, at all. 
for this assembly. And then what you want to do is take this here, this wee barrel, and you'll notice there's two prongs like sticking inwards. If you, if you see that. And basically, what I do is I line up those prongs with the crease there, so it all sits nice and straight. And then you just want to slot that over the top. And Bob's your uncle. You have a lever, and you can see there's the wee bit on the bottom there. So if I bring that back a little bit, there you have it. So now that that's done, I can now come across to the lever frame. Just straighten those up, and I can add it to the lever frame. Right, so guys, uh, we're back, and beaching end is now on its side, and Basically what we're wanting to do is I've got this wee bag of bits that I filled up from all the key, uh, the uh, kits for the points. Basically this is the most fiddly bit is you get this little brass cylinder thing and you can see it's got the hang on. see there don't know if that's in focus but it's got like threading on the end of it and basically what you're wanting to do is send that up through the hole in the bottom of the baseboard and screw that into the bottom of the point. So I'll come around the other side in a second and I'll show you what I mean. Right, so beaching end is actually on its side. That's why the ballast is kind of unusually stacked up on the side of the rail there. But basically, if you can see that we hold there, just there in the middle of the uh, points, basically what you wanted to do is thread that up through that hole. Now that is very awkward to do, but I'm going to film it and I'm hoping you're going to... Um, see what I mean by it. Right, so we're back around this side now and I'm going to attempt to screw it in, so this is what I'm going to do, is just get down and just see where it lines up. Okay, I think I can see that. And now I'm going to attempt to actually um, attempt to actually put it through. Basically, you just wanted to. Oh, this is really, this is really tricky, actually. Um, basically, you're just wanting to apply quite a bit of pressure and twist it as it goes. Now, see that's not going to go in. It's just a little bit awkward, but I'm going to keep trying. No more this. You really have got to apply a lot of pressure actually, because that hole in the bottom of the points isn't threaded. So I'm um, thinking I might just keep filming this bit and uh, speed it up. Right, so now as you can see I've finally got it in and it works quite well. Um, now all I need to do is actually uh, hook it all up via you know, springs and a pulley. So 
I'll do that now. Right, so I've got the instructions here, and basically what it says to do is basically you have a we uh, hook there, screwed in. There's your metal piece that goes underneath the points, and then you just got another hook there for the uh, string. So hopefully you're now to get it, now starting to get a an idea on how this actually works. So we'll do that now. Uh, I think I might speed it up actually, so you're not bored out of your mind. Right, so as you can see there, I've got the basic arrangement set up now. All I need to do is put some string in there uh, and tie it up, and it should be good to go. Right, so as you can see now, the uh, apparatus is done, and I also have it um, hooked up to the lever frame up there. So we'll see how it works. Right, so guys, I apologise as it's now later because I did film the concluding shot, but I uh, mustn't have must have gotten deleted or I wasn't recording or something so I'm um, redoing it now when it's a bit darker unfortunately but um, it actually works quite well I've got the lever frame here and you can see that if I pull this lever here the points there change so you can see there they are so if I can get it in one shot right so I'm not sure if you can see that but that you know that is working so, um, anyways, thanks for watching, and I uh, will see you later. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and uh, 